And this is another Bootstrap Studio question uh, from my friend Gentian, who says, Hi, Night Tutor. How I can make an input text password as login form dark? Um, Gentian always asks really good questions, and this is no different. And this is the one I'd actually tried to wrestle with before he asked it a few weeks ago. So what he means really is this here. Um, on Bootstrap Studio, it's this here, login from dark or form dark. <coughs> um, and this is a, a very fancy theme. Um, and it's it's basically, this is what it looks like in a, when it's on your browser. And it is, it's, it's really, really very nice, this. Um, so the, the question is, is how to get this thing working? And, you know, it looks really great, but how does it work? Anyway, I've, I was asked this, uh, I did this type of thing for a teacher who was um, doing foreign students and, and uh, she asked us to do, this is a few years ago now, about a login for passwords and that. And this is really no different. So what you would have to do is you do your custom code um, here. And this is your form. And... I'm not going to go into this JavaScript of this, but anyway, this is a bit of JavaScript. So what I've done is um, my email, the nbman at hotmail.co.uk, which is correct. Okay, so login, your email is correct. Okay, but then you, you, you would do the same for your password, um, you know, if you were doing that. If it doesn't... You know, say, for example, you missed a letter out there in the N nman, uh, hotmail.co.uk, login, and your email sucks. So it's saying basically the different uh, thing, meaning that in real time, the first one will get you into, into this, the second one wouldn't. Now, the problem here is JavaScript. Now, this is totally inadvisable to use JavaScript on these forms. Um, for login forms, for one thing, is that it's easily hacked. Uh, if you've got sensitive material, or you've got like a lot of people, you know, on on your site, it depends, of course, what you're doing. But I would never ever use JavaScript for login forms. What you need is PHP. And the PHP you need is it has to, when you put in your, when you see all these login forms online, what they're doing is when you when you put your name and your password in, that goes to a database. And if the database is cracked, then that, you know, that comes back allowing you in or, you know, most often it doesn't, doesn't it? I mean, it's like that. Um, you can go through 20 passwords and you forget them all and you have to get the right one, of course. Um, so the, the basically, this here on Bootstrap Studio is basically pointless. What you what you need is a good knowledge of PHP, and you've got to be able to do uh, a database for this. So it's an invalid thing on its own. Um, I can do PHP to basic level, and I can do forms, but I've never done a login in um, PHP and quite frankly databases bore the life out of me so it's something that it, sh it should have really a, a working example of where you can get the code from um, but putting login forms into a normal website isn't as easy as all that it's not like just your normal forms or your contact forms so anyway this is the reason why it is inadvisable because it's easy to hack because anybody that knows what they're doing can see um, your passwords and your um, email addresses. So my advice on this one is never use a login form with JavaScript. Okay, thanks for watching.